Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm an applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And I want to take a quick look at SolidWorks Treehouse. So first off, why would I want to use SolidWorks Treehouse? Well, it's a really powerful organizational tool for your assemblies. Um, using Treehouse will help you build your assembly structure really quick and easily. So let's go over, first off, where do I find SolidWorks Treehouse? Well, SolidWorks Treehouse is not inside SolidWorks. So for example, you don't open up your normal SolidWorks application. Instead, to find SolidWorks Treehouse, what I want to do is I want to come into my Start menu in Windows. I'd go to All Programs. I'd find SolidWorks under All Programs. And then below that, you want to jump into the SolidWorks Tools folder. Inside SolidWorks Tools, you're going to notice there's SolidWorks Treehouse right here. And you'll simply click on it and open it and you'll be launched into a window that looks like this. So this is the SolidWorks Treehouse environment. And inside the SolidWorks Treehouse environment, the first thing I need to do is I need to start building the top level of my assembly. So in order to do that, I have to use these templates, which you'll notice on the left-hand side of my screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the assembly template. The reason I'm going to do this is this is going to add the template for my assembly. So now I can literally build the tree, which is going to represent the feature manager design tree inside my assembly right here in this window. So here's my top level assembly at the moment. And if I want to add more components, all I have to do is drag and drop these components out of Windows Explorer onto this assembly. So for example, I know the main part in this assembly is going to be this bracket part. So I'll drag and drop this bracket right on top of the assembly icon here and notice what SOLIDWORKS is going to do is it's going to add that bracket below my top level assembly because this bracket is going to be housed inside that assembly one. Now I can continue to build from here too. So for example if I know I've got more parts that are going to be at the same level I can just simply do the same thing. I can just drag and drop them in and it's going to drag and drop them in the same area here on this assembly. Now what's neat about Treehouse 2 is what I could do is I could either drag and drop another assembly template onto the assembly and notice what it's going to do is it's going to create a sub-assembly. So it's really easy for me to now come in and drag and drop components here and it's going to build under that sub-assembly. So literally like I was saying before we're creating our feature manager design tree structure here inside SolidWorks Treehouse. So besides that what I'm going to want to do is also I could just do a normal sub-assembly. So for example, if my sub-assembly is not already created, I would do it like this process which I just did. I brought and dragged a new template and dropped it on my top level assembly and it created my sub-assembly. However, if my sub-assembly is already created, all I have to do is drag and drop that from Windows Explorer onto my top level and it will create all the necessary tree branches below that. So in this video we covered how to use SolidWorks Treehouse. For a more in-depth look, check out SolidWorks Treehouse 2. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.